Hello everybody and welcome back to a double concentrated undiluted dose of Bullshido. This is episode fucking 50, who knows, but we've reached 50,000 subscribers. Woo! Well done everyone. Now that's what this is all about. Thank you for your continued support. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's not waste any time standing on ceremony. To begin, I've got quite an interesting one for you. It's a drunk fighting style versus a real karate fighting style. Now, the interesting thing to take away from this is the fact that it's an arranged fight so pretending to be drunk kind of loses its uh its, its tactical advantage when you're aware that they're not actually drunk but let me not spoil it for you let's have a look sorry about the pixelation they had to choose between hiring a graphic designer to make that little uh, little intro segment and actually getting a camera that isn't glued to the back of a potato battery but they made their choice and they live and die by it Oh, I can't claim to be well versed in the drunken fighting style unless of course someone skips in front of me on my line to get a kebab at the end of the night. That being said, does it not lose any tactical advantage of pretending to be drunk when they know that it's coming because when you're bobbing your head about they're gonna land a fucking kick running your gob. I'll say one thing though, he's got the drunkenness down to a T because he's staggering everywhere, getting lamped in the face and he's not landing any hits. So he's really got the drunken aspect down to a T. Maybe the guy actually is drunk because he's eating those kicks like Big Bertha on cheat day. Well there you have it, the drunken fighting style is not very effective. I'm gonna give it two chi burgers out of ten. Have you seen that Jackie Chan movie? Nah, that's a fucking banger. Man said internal bleeding, yes please. I might win this fight but I'll be shitting glass for days and that's always a victory. You ever see uh, Enter the Matrix? Well this is en enter, enter the fake tricks. En enter, the, enter the fake tricks. Fucking write that down. You just stop it. Fucking genius. Why do people keep on arming blind and deaf kids? I've t I said it once on this channel before. All right. Why is there so many blind, deaf, and lame assaulters? in the world of martial arts, you know? They gave a, a blind dunce an AK-47 
and tell him to guard a door, of course he's not going to see the ninja guy come in. How can he's blind? He, he can't see his fucking dick come in. <laughs> If there's ever some sort of civil war in Japan, my god, are him and his students going to be in for a surprise? They're going to be first ones to die, okay? Because they're going to walk up to a dude with a machine gun and they're going to stick the hand out and they'll look down and they'll be like, boy, I'm, I'm dead. Here's another drunk master, this one instead on TikTok. So you know it's gonna be the pinnacle of charismatic, tasteful content. Now, he's supposed to be demonstrating the drunken master, however, me as a keen observer realizes that that's not what he's actually trying to do. He's trying to create a new TikTok dance trend so he can pick up those m underage whamming, those underage TikTok women. That, that, is, that is good currency, as far as he's concerned. Oh, what's up with all the fucking warpy shit? Has he like edited it to try and make his gut go away? I, I don't I don't understand why it's warping so much. Unless he's channeling so much chi, he's literally bending reality around him. Was there any noise to that video clip or perhaps I forgot to export it with the correct sound? Well actually, he was moving too fast for the camera to pick up the noises. By the time the sound reached the microphone, he was already fucking playing GTA in the next room. He was done, he was out of there. Truly an impressive feat of martial arts skill, wearing a fucking sanitary towel to hide his identity in case people seek him down to learn the way of the, the fucking martial arts expertise. If you are wondering the secret to that kid's success, he does have a tutorial in his channel where he explains how he was able to do such fast punching entitled how to do faster punching uh, let's have a look you better have still had your notepad and pen out you son of a bitch you because there you go the trick to punching faster is to punch faster step two get the bitches that's that's all that's what my sensei always said. First you get the punches, then you get the power, then you get the punches. It's been a long week. It is the fifth degree black belt test for the Bujin Khan. And it's typically done in front of Hatsumi Sen. I think that ninja guy in the back's a kind of real deal dude. But he looks like a character I made in the Dark Souls character creation screen. He out here looking like fucking sideshow Miyaki. In the old days, but now he's training the 15th Don to give the test. And you go up in front of the room, in front of all of your peers, and you kneel down. And then a guy with a sword gets behind you and pulls the sword up over his head and is supposed to have no intention at that moment. So you're not feeling anything from them. And then they try and cut down and hit you in the head. And you have to sense this and roll out of the way before it happens. They're listening for the sound and the, you know, the, the feeling of the motion behind them, which is still impressive. I don't really have an issue with that so much. I mean, it would be more interesting if they were using a real samurai sword. Then I'd be interesting to watch it, you know, like if he fails, he'd get his head lobbed straight off. That would be an impressive feat of skill. But while you're here, do you want to help me reach 100,000 subscribers? It's the next milestone. I don't know what else to achieve. 100,000, maybe I'll reach in my lifetime and I'll die a happy man. If everyone watching this video just hits subscribe, then I'll reach 100,000 in no time. It's a genius tactic, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't require much thought. I don't need you to sit behind me and hit me on the head with your schlong to make that, for that to make sense. Come on, it's easy, easy logic. But before you go, uh, but watch this video. Wow, what a great video it is. I don't care what you're doing. If you're busy, if your grandma's got in a car accident, you're watching this fucking video. Much love, bye-bye.